everybody and welcome back to the channel. So over the last month or so, we've had a lot of you guys message us asking us to comment on Gabriella's recent dietary changes. For those of you who don't know, Gabriella is a beauty and lifestyle YouTuber who has a very large audience of almost 900,000 subscribers on her main channel. If you've been watching our channel for a while, you would have seen that we made two previous uh, videos for Gabby in the past and we have exchanged some comments with her. Irrespective of the fact that we haven't always seen eye to eye, since then Gabby has made some substantial changes to her diet. If you didn't know, I've completely cut dairy out because the only thing that was keeping me eating dairy was cheese and cheese is making me feel really sick like ever since i've been on holiday it just makes me feel sick so cut out dairy which is what i've wanted to do for ages i also am not eating meat so any meat products or meat flavorings or anything i'm just making like a healthy change to my diet because it just feels like the right time to do it so this is fantastic news we're so happy to hear this yes not only has Gabby decided to take our meat and dairy for her health, but she is brave enough, courageous enough to share this with her very large audience. So we just wanted to acknowledge that and thank her for that. Earlier in this same vlog, Gabby goes to a vegan food festival and once again shares all the delicious looking vegan food with her audience. What's very interesting is that Gabby showed her friend using the iAnimal experience, a virtual reality experience which puts people in factory farms with the animals. We found this iAnimal footage, which is an example of what Gabby and her friend would have experienced. As you can see, it's very powerful and moving. And we're so pleased to see all the vegan food that Gabby is showing in her videos, and she keeps saying that she's making a real effort to eat healthier. And we've seen this in her videos and in her Snapchat, that she's been really consistent with it, which is great. Interestingly, Gabby has had a gastric sleeve, and she was initially doubtful that a vegan diet higher in fibre would suit her stomach. And yet she's clearly doing really well, so she's a great example to other people who have had a similar surgery and are doubtful that a vegan diet would work for them. So Gabby is eating a plant-based diet, which is the most important thing because the majority of animal suffering and murder takes place for our food. And yet of course remember that veganism is not just a diet, it's a lifestyle that seeks to exclude all forms of animal exploitation as far as is practicable and possible. So we did see Gabby was promoting her Valentino leather bag in a video alongside showing some great vegan snack ideas. A lot of people think leather is a byproduct of the meat industry, but it's not actually. It's a separate industry that's incredibly cruel and it's horrendous for the environment too. We've linked some resources in the description box below so people can learn more about leather and also other animal derived products. So this does raise a really interesting question. When somebody is ready to transition from a plant-based diet to a vegan lifestyle, what should they do with their non-vegan items like leather, wool, makeup? What do they do with those products? The most important thing is to not buy any new non-vegan products because when we do, we create demand, which in turn creates supply, which in turn leads to more animals being killed. Mm. But there are some options. There are. Yeah. So you can continue to wear and use your existing non-vegan items and just replace them with vegan options when possible and or when they need replacing. And of course, the other option is if you are in a position where you can replace those non-vegan items straight away, then you don't want to use them or wear them anymore, then you can throw them away, you can give them away, you can bury them in a hole as we did. Um, we put some of our leather items and wool items in a hole in the ground and just one of those things out of our life. So it really is up to the individual what position they're in, what they can afford, what they want to do with them. But the most important thing, as Lucas said, is not to create new demand for non-vegan items. So going back to Gabby, what we want to emphasize is that despite showing the leather handbag, she is actually making a huge difference to animals' lives because she's being vocal about her dietary changes. And someone like Gabby is actually saving more animals' lives because she's promoting vegan food compared to a vegan who is silent and doesn't influence their audience at all. So we think this is very important to acknowledge and we just wanted to give Gabby some kudos. Absolutely, we're really proud of you Gabby and we just think you're doing so well. So pop over to Gabby's social media and let her know that she's doing a great job. Thank you so much for watching guys. Of course we wanna hear from you, so pop your comments down below. Don't forget to share this video with Gabby, give it a like and of course subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And remember until next time that going vegan is not the most we can do. It's the least we can do. Thanks for watching. Bye guys. Against veganism that you haven't done much research on, so don't know much about. Mm. 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 Good question. <laughs> I'll get back to you on that. <laughs>